Now we can go to another more complicated example. What if the question is asking you how to compute for the variable length subnet mask of a given number of hosts and a given local area network? So how do you compute for that? Let, uh, let's say, for example, you're given an IP block address of uh, 192.168.0.0/16. What do I mean by IP block ad address? There's a rule. I'll be explaining about the rules later. But the rule is, all of the IP block uh, given IP block ad address should be the the first network address where you would need to increment add all of your host from to get the uh, correct network address okay so let's say for example we have two local air networks lan a is around let's say for example 50 hosts we're trying to connect 50 hosts for lan a lan b is about let's say for example 129 hosts for lan b and then since we have two local air networks of course common sense will, would tell you that each of these local area networks is connected to a router and since we we have two routers since we have two local area networks this router should have their own number of hosts as well so since we have two routers r1 r2 this is equivalent to two hosts okay so first thing first let me just give you let me just open up a note, notepad here again for the rules first rule arrange the following local area network according to the number of hosts from highest to lowest okay so that's the first rule arrange the following local area network according to the number of hosts number of hosts from highest to lowest so let's try and do just that network address or i mean host name first so we know which belongs to which uh, number of hosts it belongs to so since lan b is the highest or has the highest number of hosts we jot down lan b here and then followed by lan a and then last but not least r1 to r2 and then the number of hosts is this is 129 so just so we don't get confused this is 50 and then this is two hosts okay so for the next part local area network with the highest number of hosts should receive the ip block address as its network ad okay is that clear so again let me just uh, read the following the lan or the local area network with the highest number of hosts highest number of hosts in this uh, particular example that's lan b should receive the ip block address as its network address okay so we'll just copy this one this is this that's our um, ip block address now we start with the computation okay let me just again open up a notepad this is where everything gets a little bit confusing but i'll try to make it clear as possible so again for uh, this we have number of hosts since we're using again a binary number just gonna start with 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And I'm not gonna stop with 128 since the highest number that we have for the local area network, which is LAN B, is 129. So I must go over to 256. But you have to remember that the only usable host, the only usable number. Since we're talking about hosts, we need to subtract 2 from this. Um, so this makes it 
not applicable because 1 minus 2, we need to subtract because the 2 host will be for your network address and for your broadcast address. This is, of course, a 0. That's not applicable as well. Minimum, minimum usable host should be 2. This 6. This is 14. This is 30. This is 62. This is 126. And this is 254. Okay? So, for the subnet mask, this is 255255255255 minus 1. 255 255 that 255 minus 1. Uh, 255 minus 1, that's 254. Minus 2. Just check on the pattern so you'll know how uh, we're doing this. So 254 minus 2, that's 252. Minus 4. Again, increment binary 1248. This is 255, 255, 255, 252 minus 4, that's 248, okay, minus 8, 255, 255, 255, 248 minus 8, that's 240, minus 16 this time, and then 255, 255, 255, 240 minus 16, that's 224. And then, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, dot 192 minus 64 that's 128 and then minus 128 that's finally our subnet mask dot zero or if we try to write this down this is the of course 30 since we're uh, talking about 32 bit octet this is 32 this is this is 30. This is 29. Okay, so since we have already the following table, I uh, actually um, advise for you to create the following table because this will be your. This will become your guide as to which or how many oct octets are you going or how many hosts are you going to add for your network address. I recommend that you use the following, okay? So, let's start since we are going to check first on the number of hosts, 129, where which number of hosts will that fit of course 129 will fit in here since this is only 126 and it misses like three ho no, three hosts so that's why it wouldn't fit in this um, particular um, field that's the main reason why instead of 128 we'll be adding 256 on your uh, network address okay so that would mean for the next IP 192.168.0. Since this is 256, and we don't actually uh, have 256 in our octet, octet, full octet, if you try to um, add the following, it will only equate to 255. So, what are we going to do? Since we're, we're trying to add that on the last octet, what we're going to do instead is we're going to change this to 1. And this is zero. Okay, that's how it works. Let me just uh, put that in here. So I have to add one. Okay. So for the next part, if we try to five one two, let's say for example this five ten. This is two. 
5525255 got just so, uh, showing you a particular example so which you would understand this is 255 minus 1 that's 254 and 0 and so on same increment okay so since we're trying to add 256 and the total of one octet is only 255 we're going to carry that one that over to the next octet so that's the main reason why instead of putting in here 256 that can that cannot be because the number total number of per octet is only 255 we change this third octet into one and then the fourth octet into zero okay so is that clear so we're basing on the 129 uh, usable uh, octet that we have so for the next part since we're talking about 50 host where does uh, where does 50 host fit in it's in here 64 so what we, we just need to do is we just need to add that to the last octet so 192.168.1.64 and that's easily how you get the computation for your net network address as for the first host address or the first assignable ip range you just need to add one to your network address just add one host to your network address so this would be 192.168.0.1 this would be 192.0.1.1 and this would be 192.168.1.65 for the last host address you will base your answer on the second network address subtract 2 okay so 192.168.1.254 and this should be 0 and then here dot 1 dot minus 2 62 and then last but not the least 192.168.66 and for the broadcast address we just need to add one host just have to add one host to your last host address so this is 192.168.0.255 this is 192.168.1.63 this is 192.168.0.67 and subnet mass, of course, where does 129 come in? It is in here. So the subnet mask is this one for the first host. For the first address, 50 will come in here. So this will be your subnet mask. And then last but not least, 2 will come in here because this is the usable host so this will be your subnet mask for that okay so that's it uh if you have any questions feel free to message me i'll just show you the uh, table again you can actually create or continue on this 1022 this is 4 so you you, you know you, you can understand how the, the pattern works as you can see, everything is a binary increment. Slash 22. And if we go on further, do that. So this is 2048. So 2046 minus 2 host. This is 8. 255. 255. That's zero. Slash so this is basically how uh, you compute for the following IP address, network address, assignable IP range, and the broadcast address. If you have been given the local area networks and the number of hosts for that particular lo lo local area network. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Just send me a message. And if you have any uh, clarifications do comment send a comment via i'll be uploading this via youtube and thank you for watching thank you for listening and bye